Good morning everyone. Today I'll be discussing about simplifying logical statement using logical laws. Okay, so let's take a look at this example. The negation of P and Q and Q. So to simplify this statement, first we will use the De Morgan's law. Okay, using the De Morgan's law, we need to state um, simplify this statement inside the parenthesis using the De Morgan's law. Okay, so De Morgan's law states that we need to distribute this negation sign to P and Q and at the same time we are going to flip the connector. Okay, so since the connector here is end, we are going to change it to or after we distribute the negation sign. So doing that, we'll get a new, new statement which is negation of P or negation of Q. Okay, and then after, we're going to just copy and Q statement. Okay, and then after that, we're going to change the position of this statement Q and this compound statement using the commutative law. Okay, we're going to change the position so it would be easier for us later when we simplify this statement further. Okay, so doing or using commutative law, we're going to get a new statement or which is Q and the negation of P or negation of Q. Okay, so after changing the position now, we are going to distribute Q to this compound statement P, negation of P and negation of Q using the distributive law. Okay. Okay. So when distributing this Q to P and Q here, you have to take note that we also need to, to distribute this connective here or the connector here to this one. And this will be the connector for the compound to compound statement form. Okay. So we're going to distribute Q and negation P and then after here we're going to put this connector or and again we're going to distribute Q and negation Q. So after doing the distribution we can now simplify another statement which is this statement okay using the contradiction law we will be using the contradiction law here because the connector is end okay and end when we get the truth value of q and negation q it will always give you a false statement it's because in a connector end in order for the statement to be true it should be the two statements should give you a truth values but for this one it won't give you truth value because the other one is a negation of the other statement so that's why we will be using contradiction law so using contradiction law we're going to get a new statement which is q and negation of p or the false statement okay so simplifying this further we will be using the identity law so using the identity law we will be will get rid of this one okay so we're going to get the simplified statement which is Q and negation of P. So this is the simplified statement for this 
statement negation of B and Q and Q. One way of checking if your answer is correct, you can just get the truth value of this compound statement and this simplified statement. And the truth value of this two will give you the same truth value. Okay? And another example, let's do negation of negation of P and Q or R. Okay. To simplify this statement, we will be using the De Morgan's law. Okay, because we are going to distribute this negation sign here outside to this compound statement. Okay, so we will be using the Morgan's law. And doing that, just as I just as I have said a while ago, we are going to flip the sign. Okay, so here, negation, negation. So, we're going to have a negation, negation P. And then, since this is and, we will flip it. We're going to make it or. And then, negation of Q. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. So, it's not that thing. We will be flipping the other one. Okay. So, since this is taken as group so we have to take this as group also okay so and q and then this one this will be the one that need, we need to flip so for this we're going to flip this from or it will become and and the negation r next after that since we have double negation here we are going to simplify this to negation so, negation, negation. So, this will be the double negation law. Okay? To simplify this further. So, negation, negation, it will be, it will give you positive negation of P and Q. Closing up in parentheses. And negation R. Okay? So, this is the simplified statement for this negation of negation P and R, P and Q or R. Okay? So, I hope you learned something about simplifying logical statements using the different logical laws. Okay? So, in my next video, I will be discussing uh, more complicated logical statements simplifying logical statement but that will be more complicated using again the different logical laws okay bye